If you're a regular viewer of the channel, it's safe to say that a retro running shoe is my sneaker silhouette of choice. I consistently dabble in Nike, New Balance, and even Adidas sneakers, but a player in the running space that I haven't tried out quite yet is Saucony. I know they're pretty active in the streetwear and YouTube communities, so I figured why not give it a shot with this pair. And for you guys today, I have this collaboration pair between Bodega and Saucony in the Grid Azura 2000 model. These were released on February 4th, 2020 in limited quantities at Bodega's LA and Boston stores, as well as online. They yielded a $100 retail price, which to me is super reasonable considering how inflated collaboration sneakers can go for. The inexpensive retail price on these can be equated to the overall use of materials. The uppers are constructed of a super lightweight mesh, and in most places are even transparent. My favorite detail on the shoes are these wavy tooth-like overlays in the black, blue, and lime green colors. It really gives the sneakers an aggressive appearance while remaining true to the retro runner look. This is definitely a sneaker that'll be worn a lot in the summertime as well. Continuing the lightweight theme on these, this pair takes on Saucony's signature grid technology, with strikes being found throughout the white midsole. Closing out is the rubber outsole with a unique traction pattern and a variation of those same colors from the uppers. As a collector, the thing that gets me is a good story on a sneaker, and these certainly have one. Saucony and Bodega put this X-Files type mystery behind these sneakers, which is something I can get down with. A quick synopsis of the background on this collab is that this Grid Azura 2000 model was an old Saucony model that never saw the light of day and was ultimately scrapped by their internal team. Bodega got their hands on this quote unquote secret sneaker and brought it back to life. Again, there are certainly mystery vibes behind this story, with a lot of their promo and marketing material consisting of top secret file images and photos of the sneaker in a bunker-like environment. Bodega put out a bunch of social content, as well as this long piece on the editorial section of their website, which is actually a decent read, and I'll have linked in the description of the video. It was a seamless release, and I was able to grab a pair when they dropped. For a long while too, there's a full size run on their website. I don't imagine these going for too much in the resale market, just because there wasn't too much hype behind this pair. That's great, because if you really like the pair, you should be able to grab it pretty easily. As I mentioned earlier in the video, Saucony is just a brand I've been sleeping on, which is surprising especially given my liking for retro runners. I think this pair of Grid Azura 2000s are sitting well with me, and has really opened my eyes to the brand. I'm going to have to do more research and figure out which models are the ones worth grabbing. Maybe you guys in the comment section can help me out and let me know which Saucony's are worth picking up. While you're there, let me know what you guys think of this pair of the Bodega and Grid Azura 2000 collab. And of course, if you're liking my content, be sure to drop a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel. There's a lot more to come this year, so be sure to stick around. That's all for this video though. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.